Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial Yo, and today we will be taking a look at the switch converter. Now what the switch converter does, it allows you to have an on and off state for an object, similar to how you use a switch to turn a light bulb on and off. So with this object here, I'm going to be applying the switch to the opacity. So let's say we wanted to have an on and off state for the opacity. If I right click this, convert and search for switch right here, we are presented with three sub parameters, which is link off, link on and switch. So the link off is the object's off state, the link on is its on state and the switch allows us to control these two states here. So let's change the link off to being zero. So when the, um, when the value is zero, the object will be off and when it's on it will be one and notice when i changed this to zero we don't see the object here that is because the switch is flipped off right so it's now in its off state but if i should left click within the space here and turn our switch on it will now go to the, the link on state which is at one and turn on the opacity of the object so we are able to see the object so we can click this off and on to turn our object on and off just like a light switch and we can actually change the values around so we can make the link off be one and we can make the link on being zero so when the switch is on it's actually um, being represented by one so logically the object would, we won't be able to see the object because it's technically off but when it's on this is represented by zero, so if the switch is turned off, it would actually be on. So if I turn the switch off, it will be on because we flipped it around. But I would recommend in programming, an off state is represented by zero and the on state is represented by one. So I would recommend following that logical route where you know one represents on and zero represent represents off. Um, so you know you won't get confused, but it's up to you it's not set in stone that you have to follow that logical route but i would recommend doing so so yeah that's what the switch allows us to do is turned is turn a, a property on and off right and we can actually animate this so if i should turn the animate button on and i turn this off right we see we we have a keyframe here and if i come down to maybe here and flip our switch on now we have our object turning off and on. All right, so that is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.